hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Aries, we are coming to the end of a cycle, closing out a cycle. I love it, I love it, I love it. So for a lot of people, this is a new a new year, kicks off a new year for them on the 21st. We have a super new moon in Aquarius coming. And so let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you have been identifying your energy leaks within yourself, like fear, doubt, frustration, you know, um, whatever the energy leak has been. If there are people, places, and things that have been leaking your energy, hopefully you have been, um, hopefully you have been, um, you know, identifying those things. So here we go. Okay. First card out of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So somebody has been really expressing some things to source, maybe through prayer or however you've been expressing it. We have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Source is saying to toss out any bitterness towards anybody, doesn't matter who it is, to get back to your peace of feeling like you're protecting your inner child. This is your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This is your inner child so that you can protect your mental health. Get back to peace. In other words, forgive people. In other words, forgive whomever for whatever. And somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. So if you need to toss some things into a burning bowl, do it. Forgive yourself, forgive other people, but toss out all the bitterness. Not even anything coming out of your mouth should be bitter. Especially if you're talking about, you know, a lot of times at the end of the year, people will say, oh, New Year's resolution. Consider this as like the moving into a new year. It's a new moon. I don't celebrate New Year until the new, the new moon. But anyway, but whatever your practice is, whether you, you start a new year by the 31st or the whatever, you know, but new moon phase, it's a super new moon. And so um, the only planet that's currently retrograde is Uranus. Uranus is the planet of change, liberation, and freedom. You can liberate yourselves from something and get back on your throne and start vetting all those thoughts that's coming through your mind. If it's something low vibrational or negative thought about people, sources like cut it out, just cut it out, sever ties with it. Because source is trying to um, help perfectly align your money, perfectly align your money. Here's the thing that this is, this is going to, hopefully this brings some things into perspective. You never know who knows whom, right? You, a person could think, oh, I'm connected to, you know, this celebrity and, um, and, and such, but you don't know who's, you don't know who knows whom you don't know who's related to whom or any of those things. This right here is all about your connections to human beings your relationship with human beings. So the people who may not be talking about certain things may know a whole lot of people that you know, right? So, or be somehow connected to people that you have a, um, have a relationship with. Uh, like this, this, this place I used to, this uh, agency that I used to work for, I remember when I was going through the, um, the vetting process, the being sworn in all of this, whatever. But, you know, going through this process, this, uh, this person said to me, be careful when you're talking about other people, just in any way, whether you're complimenting them or you got a, you know, grievance with them or whatever. Cause a lot of people in this agency are married, but they don't, they still carry their former names, right? They still carry their former name. You just don't know who's connected to whom, right? So even when I hear people bragging about, oh, I know this person, or I know that person, or whatever the case may be, somebody may not even say anything. They're just sitting back listening to see what you're going to say about them. So this is connected to your the, your relationships with people, and I'm seeing perfect alignment with your wealth. So that's another reason why if you have some kind of a grievance or gripe with somebody or whatever, or somebody could come into your family and give birth to the next president. So how, how are you treating that person? How are you treating the man or the woman or the, 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 the partnership or whatever? Again, this is about keeping your vibration high. And this is what I'm seeing. Like this, um, when I look at, when I look at these cards right here and I'm seeing it's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted when you forgive yourself and forgive others. There's ways to calm that fire down a bit, especially if you think about certain people, you're a fire sign. That's why I said that if certain, you think about certain people and you feel like, okay, I'm getting mad. I'm getting frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say something like really sarcastic or hurtful about X, Y, and Z. 
it's best to go take a walk, get near, go take a spiritual shower, spiritual bath, turn on your sacral chakra music while you around the house during the day. If you work from home or if you're on your way to work or on a train or bus, public transportation or whatever, listen to it in your earplugs. Listen to it in your earplugs to take your mind somewhere else away from all of that. Because Source is trying to put richness in somebody's life. So somebody is going to have to toss out all the bitterness. Here we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, we also have the Hermit card. So, um, the Hangman and also the Hermit card. So, Feminine Energy. So, the Hermit card is attached to Virgo. Mercury is no longer retrograde. So, this is where somebody's going to have some time to kind of really sit there and meditate on some actions from the past, right? And really just kind of sort of just take a pause for a second and just recognize that, hey, um... If I want to be able to dream bigger and I see and I, I want things to come my way soon, because this is feminine energy right here. If I want things to if I want to receive the things that I've been praying for, like I want to see perfect alignment with my money, I'm going to also have to release something else. So if it's unforgiveness or, you know, something else on the other side of that scale, I'm going to have to move on from that. I'm, I'm going to have to move on from it. If I want to be booked and busy, I'm going to have to forgive some people from my past. I'm going to have to move on from it. So that's what I'm seeing for somebody. So you can close out this cycle on a, a really, really high note and just say, you know what, if it's, if it's that much for me, you know, um, and I want perfect alignment for, with my money in terms of my legacy wealth, money coming in at work, increase as far as money, I'm going to have to learn how to toss up all, all the bitterness and operate in faith. Here we also have the four of pentacles. So source is saying to somebody, don't go out there and start shopping. Don't go out there frivolously spending your money because source got your money in perfect alignment. And, but this is an opportunity for you to close this thing out right, close out this cycle right. So source needs you to walk away from those, those even the temptations of burning somebody or saying anything harmful, even if they're not in your presence. Like walking away from that, going somewhere, maybe planning a trip would be nice for somebody, right? And also getting your proper rest. Also getting your proper rest. So stay focused. Stay laser focused. Stay laser focused. Stay laser focused. Stay laser focused. So again, we like I said, we have the hangman. And see, we see that that energy is suspended in air. So thinking about certain energies could make, when you think about like hanging upside down, could make you lightheaded and dizzy. Like when you think about certain energies and maybe certain, you know, whatever the case may be. Let's say somebody came into your family, you don't get along with the in-laws or, I mean, the, the, the whatever. You don't get along with somebody, somebody your loved one married or whatever the case may be. Just the thought of being around them could just like make you dizzy and lightheaded. You could have some real, you know, toxic emotions you know, about the energy, um, sources like forgive them, forgive them. That's just one example. That's just one example. It could have been somebody you work with, somebody you were married to, somebody you befriended, somebody, whatever, but sources like release it. Cause I'm trying to source it. Here we have the hangman again. We have the ace of pentacles and also the ace of cups, ace of pentacles and ace of cups. Tapping into your strength. This lets me know that this number eight right here looks like an infinity symbol, but this is the eighth card in tarot. We have to talk about this one time before because anyway, let me let me move on from this. Anyway, so we got the strength card. The strength card is really about you, and the, the number eight is your money exchange number. Get your clear vision and your clear focus. Here we have the ace of cups. Somebody's gonna have to get clarity of you know, like wash that. Put, put some water over that fire, something that you think about and it gets you, it grinds your gears and gets you that frustrated emotionally about some place, person, place, or thing. So it's just like, instead, get back on your throne of wisdom, get near some water. I do see somebody taking some kind of a vacation and going somewhere, you know, near water. Again, the hangman came out twice. So it's like double patience here, like double patience with yourself, with your own transition, with your own growth. Somebody's going to have to transcend. Somebody's going to have to go higher. But it's, again, it's taking some time for that to happen because, again, here we have the Ten of Wands. See how, these, see how this person looks overwhelmed emotionally? Every time you think about people, places, and things, you just get emotionally overwhelmed. So you even got to stay away from triggers. So if somebody is telling you, 
oh, somebody's birthday is coming up or, you know, um, or you, um, or whatever, whatever somebody's bringing to your attention or somebody, you know, did you know so-and-so got married or did you know that so-and-so did this or that or whatever the case may be. The bottom line is that you got to, learn how to flush out those toxic emotions about something because you may feel like okay they somebody burned you or burned your family or whatever again forgiveness operating in love ace of pentacles source is trying to get somebody to start focusing on continuing to earn money more money coming across your path but this is again attached to your relationships with people ace of cups came out twice really being able to express yourself to source help me with this help me to receive some different messages about situation but help me but i see ultimately however long it takes and i hope it's it's immediate for somebody so you can close out this cycle and move into a new moon phase how whatever happens i see somebody moving forward i see a perfect position coming for somebody a perfect job where somebody's actually celebrating outside of a um, celebrating outside of a new job or some kind of increase at work, like some kind of a raise or something, or maybe um, opportunities to get a new job. I do see somebody having a lot of duties and responsibilities coming your way. Um, but so there's a lot of opportunities. So you got to figure out what am I sacrificing in order to get all these opportunities, like to be double booked and busy. What do I need to release? What do I need to release? And that's what I see somebody getting their laser focus back tossing out this is the six of cups is about operating in faith so maybe somebody's mother is giving them a, like a you know um somebody's um mom in the spirit realm is giving them a fresh cup of water like toss all that bitterness out just toss all toss the anger and bitterness out because there's too much wealth that's the source is trying to send coming your way it's better for everybody to get along and just like you know start out with creating boundaries you know, if it's family situation, everybody don't need to be around all, each other all the time. But try to, you know, so anyway, here we have take time to breathe out. Just take some time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. So, yeah. I would love to see somebody double booked and busy and just vetting those emotions coming through. That's the queen of swords. Getting back on your throne and vetting those thoughts. Low, any low vibrating thoughts that's coming through. Sword is like, source is like cut them out. Cut out the low vibrating thoughts about a situation because you'll be messing up your own money. Here we have read. That's right. Yep. So um, could be reading some books. You know, could be taking your mind off of some things. I have some pretty interesting reads up here <laughs> all the time. A lot of different authors. And you see the, the title of the authors in my, um, um, in the description bar. So I like to think all the books that I put up here, because I read every genre of book, but I like to think that they are helpful. Um, and so maybe it's time to pick up something different reading new books maybe it's time to you know do something different if you want a different result from things instead of allow allowing some emotions to take over because this is a lot of creativity that somebody has just like go down the drain and this is not only creativity is also connected to your money as well everything in the universe is connected so you want to flush out any bad feelings or negative thoughts about things and you want to attract exactly what you prayed for so Let's see what else we have here and let's go ahead and get ready to close this out. Let's see what else we have here and let's go ahead and close this out. Let's see what we have here and let's go ahead and close it out, Aries. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. 30, I am imaginative. That's right. You are an original innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. That's right. That is absolutely right. That is absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Love. Affirmations for love. That's right. I am connected to all love and all light. I welcome all forms of authentic love into my life. I deserve to love and be loved. I love myself as I am. All is love and I am loved. I approve of myself. I am enough. My heart is full of love. I share love with those around me. 
That's right. That is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's see if we can pull one last card. Let's see if we can pull one last card and see what this end message is going to be before you cross over into, and by the way, this reading is for the 18th of January through the 31st of January. We're going to try to take it a little slow, then I'll do some prediction videos later on. Um, but for right now, I want to make sure we can start this new year off right and a double, like you had, some people celebrated the 31st going into the first is a new year, but this is a lot of people celebrate the 21st and first new moon as a new year. So let's see what we have here. Nine of pentacles. I'm telling you, source is trying to make somebody very, very wealthy, but somebody's going to have to turn, throw all the bitterness and the, the frustration and anger over something. Like somebody is just holding on to something and, you know, it, it is, it is, it's, it's hitting somebody at the root chakra. Like the root chakra color is like, it like the color of blood, like, but it's like the the like a deep red, some variation of red, like the devil, right? It's 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 really threatening somebody to just kind of, even if your thoughts were about a person and you feel like they were demonic or they were evil or that they were the devil or whatever, do the research on what that means metaphysically. That's going to really help somebody to understand that somebody is somebody is disrupting their own wealth it was already predestined for somebody to be wealthy nine of nine of pentacles is um is the number nine is like you have to release something something has to die in order for you to enter into this new space it's about rebirth and so if there's some deep emotions you have about something that sources like get rid of the bitterness out of your cup so that you can enter into wealth that you've never seen before. That's what I have for you, Aries. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. And again, Friday is the 20th. So you, there's still time. There's still time to forgive whomever for whatever and start building from there. Start building a, a new foundation because it seemed like something could have hit somebody's family. When we talk about pentacles energy, we're talking about earth energy and something could have hit somebody's family. Like this really rocks some things to the core. Um, and like I said before, somebody's going to have to forgive. Somebody's going to have to forgive somebody or else, like I said, it's going to be like it's building on a shaky ground. Something could have started from the start, from the beginning on a shaky ground. And so I don't want to extend this video, but shaky ground could mean anything. It could mean a whole lot of things, a lot of shakiness going on here. But you, somebody has an opportunity to flush all of that out with water, see where the cracks are in the foundation, and build from there. That's what I see for you. And again, so you can get to your wealth. Make this your wealthiest year ever. Like make this be the first millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire in your family because you have healthy relationships around you. There's too much wealth in your cars for somebody to have this much. Like when I look at the six of cups, but I, I do see that eventually changing. So you can change it right away. That's what I have for you, Aries. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.